Hi, it's Simon. Now, as Ali Abdul says regularly on his channel, joy is the catalyst to productivity. And indeed, it seems that as this channel has grown, so has my journey into the world of beautiful, enjoyable, productive tech that does just that. Enter the mechanical keyboard. Yes, my friends, I've been bitten. Mechanical keyboards are for everyone and the right board can do more than you think to improve your life. Plus, well, oh, doesn't that just make your teeth go funny? Like in a good way. Today, I'm gonna to share with you, I guess my personal beginner's perspective on choosing a good mechanical keyboard for you. It's a basic guide to the options and choices available, and most enjoyably, some short reviews of some cool options I've been testing out, from minimalistic budget-friendly choices to sublime premium custom beauties. And make sure to hang around to the end of the video because I had to set up an entire fake desk setup just to show you this. Hello? A quick disclaimer, I was sent a few of the boards in the video, but no money has changed hands. These opinions are very much my own and no one gets sign off on the content. This video does have a sponsor though, and that is Skillshare. More on their awesomeness and typing a little bit later on. So as a quick overview, the right keyboard choice comes down to a couple of essential considerations. Size and ergonomics of the board. We have to think about hand and wrist position, how many hours we'll spend typing, 80%, 60%, what's all that about? Number two is sound and feel. Key profile, switches, stabilizers, gaskets and lube. Yep, yeah, it's all part of it. The type of resistance, the travel, volume of the switch has a huge effect on your typing experience. And how often you annoy your partner with the clack of keys on a midnight deadline. Yeah, we'll look at all that later on with Everglide. And number three, features, design, and integration. This to me comes down to how the form and function of that board fits into your desk setup, from fully custom hop swappable switches, Bluetooth and key mapping, even if you want to travel with the keyboard in a case. Make sure you also let us all know in the comments what your go-to keyboard of choice is and why. Share the knowledge, people. So this is my Keychron K3 version two. It's a 75% board and it's where I started. I bought it about a year ago, a good place to start and talk about, therefore, the essentials of a board. Keychron are a great option if you want to dip your toes, or well, fingers into the water. Sorry. And try a good value but super well-designed keyboard with all the functionality you might expect from, say, a Mac board. 75% basically means it's like 75% of a full-size keyboard. And for most people, probably the closest equivalent to a standard laptop. Now, I originally ordered their higher profile K2 with the brown switches, but personally found that that higher profile was just a little bit too different for me when I first started out. That said, this low profile equivalent with a lovely aluminium body has been super nice. So for people new to this mechanical world, you might prefer it. Keychron offer Bluetooth connection for multiple devices and a dedicated Mac Android window switch. This I think is super useful feature for newbies. I love the design and looks. I went for these Gatoron brown switches. We'll talk more about switch choice a little bit later on. So if you want a subtle shift from your standard laptop keys, this is a great option. The downsides, well, this seems to go to sleep and then it takes a while to reconnect. I find that a little bit annoying and it does seem to collect dust in the gaps. A little bit hard to clean. Now Keychron have recently released their K Pro series. It's the first, essentially similar design to this, to add a QMK and VIA functionality out of the box. This essentially means you can now program the switch functions with shortcut functions, really powerful. I'll be reviewing that in the future on automation hopefully, so look out for that on the channel. I think a sub to the channel would be worth the click, right? So next, if you value smaller, more portable, low-profile boards, Newfi's Air 60 is, well, really good. They sent me this one to test out along with a bunch of fantastic extras like this folio case with magnetic connection and the whole setup of alternative keycaps for which I can then set like a different aesthetic. It's a low profile aluminium frame, fantastic build quality and feels possibly even better quality than that K3, but it's super close. They also offer PBT keycap packs like this so you can go further into the customization world. Unlike the Keychron, the key legends don't shine through. So if you work in the dark, that's worth considering and an option to weigh up when picking something in general. But I have to say the build quality and attention to detail of this made it a really portable option that is one of the best I've seen. I'd suggest that Nufi options are better for gaming as well since they have better latency. Every key is also macro programmable where options from Keychron may be better suited to office use. The keys are also made of PBT plastic rather than ABS giving it a slightly higher quality feel. The indicator light on the side a really nice touch they tell you various things 
and the instructions that come in the box and the programmability of the lights and effects are really varied and altogether well thought out. So well done Newfi. Easy recommendation. It supports three different devices on the Bluetooth, works well with my Mac. And to that end, this would be my pick for the perfect iPad keyboard as an alternative to a keyboard case. Pairing the Air 60 with, say, a simple folio case, like this Pitaka folio case on my iPad, makes the perfect portable work option. I'm also loving pairing this thing with the Magflot stand for a kind of mini iMac style desk setup. Pretty cool, right? Now, before we dive into the custom world of serious keyboard builds, one of the thockiest keyboards I've ever heard, and how to choose your perfect switches, let's talk about typing speed. Learning to type fast with the right tools is not only a huge productivity game changer, it's also super satisfying and looks cool. <laughs> and it's why I got into mechanical keyboards in the first place. So to learn how to do it, I turned to today's sponsor Skillshare and found my fellow UK YouTuber Ali Abdul's amazing course, How to Triple Your Typing Speed. It includes manageable chapters from how to fix your typing weaknesses to finger placement and building muscle memory. And it's really made the difference. So if you haven't heard of it, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore creativity and personal growth on their own terms. With a Skillshare membership, you can engage in your hobbies and passions for a full 12 months. I think it's the perfect way to start that New Year's resolution. There are thousands of amazing courses and classes ranging from topics on productivity, creativity, coding and entrepreneurship and more, meaning that you can find classes that will match your personal goals and interests. So what are you waiting for? Invest in yourself this holiday season and take advantage of Skillshare's best deal of the year. So for a limited time only, use my link to get 50% off your Skillshare subscription. You can't say, I don't look after you. This is the Everglide SK68 65%. There are a ton of variations available for this board and I think it's the perfect board to review for starting to enjoy the more custom premium feeling end of the market. Let's break down choosing keys and switches. The model I was sent is the transparent black with carbon plate, Aqua King, Water King tactile switches with a weight of 55 grams. That basically means it requires very little actuation force to click it, 95 plus being really heavy. Okay, so let's just quickly talk switches. There is not an easy answer to which switches you should choose, but you can ask yourself these questions. What noise do you want to hear when typing? Do you like to feel a bump or a smooth press? What is your typing style? Are you a light typist or do you like to bottom out? Will you be gaming or typing more? So linear switches are the simplest operation. They're smooth and move straight up and down, making them less clicky in general and mean a rapid actuation, which is better for gamers. A great example are the Cherry MX or Gatoron Red linear switches. Tactile switches, my preferred choice, provide tactile feedback and a noticeable bump in the middle. Great for typing as you notice it's been pressed without having to bottom it out. A great example, the Cherry MX or Gatoron Brown tactile switch. Clicky switches work the same as tactile ones but have a distinct click. Great for people who love that sound as a feedback. Less good for busy offices and your partner. Cherry MX or Gatoron Blue switches are good examples of these. The first thing you notice about the Everglide is the reassuring weight of the board and the solid but plush feel of those keys. These Aqua King or Water King switches are beautiful and satisfying to use and the thockiest keyboard I've used. Thock. Thock. It's a super pleasing tactile feel, totally feels high quality, and you can definitely tell you're in the land of the enthusiast. I was, however, disappointed there wasn't a proper user guide or setup manual in the box, particularly given this is such a simple build with no switches other than the keys. But hey, it's a great design and easy to find and download the manual on their website. You'll need the manual though to learn the shortcuts and connections for this board. The transparent design is cool, but definitely makes seeing the keys tricky. I say you either need to put this in like single button RGB light up mode or see it under natural light on the desk. I was also sad to see it doesn't offer many modes for the lights. As someone who likes a minimal design, it's annoying that the multicolored RGB is the only option here. I'm using this wired, and honestly, with the right board and wire, it can look, function, and feel better than a wireless setup. The SK68 feels like a permanent desk choice, plus it keeps things simple. And look at the wire they included, but man, no USB-C to USB-C. Everglide do offer wireless Bluetooth connection if you can work out how to use it. 
another choice to consider. Overall, it's always worth researching if a brand seems to target more towards either Mac or PC and Android. As a Mac user, this worked fine and has a Mac mode, but you would want to maybe swap out some of the keys so that they had a Mac layout, and overall it just feels more targeted towards you PC users. Everglide seemed to be a great brand for satisfying well-made mid-price boards, and you can customise to your heart's content. So if you like the idea of buying keys, switches and boards separately, this could be perfect to create your setup. But man, those Acro King fit switches. Oh. Now, if you want to go further with a minimalist custom setup that's more in tune with a Mac aesthetic, I'm seriously considering a board from Mode. Okay, they are super pricey and premium, but they look seriously beautiful options. What do you think? Okay, it's time. Last but definitely not least, in any sense of the word, look at this. I can't fit it in. One sec. So Lofri are a really interesting band that create minimal and attractive desk setup accessories and peripherals that bring a little joy into the world. They make well-priced customizable keyboards like their Touch series and Die Sub PBT keycap sets for the creative folk amongst us. But this is definitely an entirely different offering. Let's just open it up, I think. Okay, it's time to show you what's in here. Number one and Number two, this my friends is a keyboard setup. Let's open one at a time. So first of all, the most obvious box. You'll see in there we have a keyboard, a rather unusual looking keyboard, a mouse and a number pad. So let's just open this up, but there's actually more in there. Really nicely boxed. This is a premium product. Let's have a, have a look. So you've got some information in here, gives it away a little bit. You've got a card metal, something about wine, it's all kind of branded in this kind of slightly like aging gent. <laughs> There's a little box here with a keycap, I guess you can put that on the keyboard or wherever you want to put it. We have a little box of what I presume is wires, there you go, various charging wires for the various things, micro USB to USB not USB-C, but you know. Let's start with the keyboard because that's what we're all here for. This is a really special keyboard. It looks cool. It's clearly going for that retro typewriter vibe and it definitely takes some adjustment to use because of those circular buttons. Whilst it could be argued it's a bit style over substance, the build quality is very good. There's a good weight to it and is really close in terms of feel to the Keychron offering. But I suppose this part of the video, we should just talk about what else is in the box. So next, a number pad. Let's peel this off, shall we? This is called Digit. It is the matching number pad. It takes a battery by the look of it. It's plastic, but it's got a nice look to it. So that can just sit like a full-size keyboard, basically. And then, of course, you have the mouse. It's quite nice, it's light, it feels like one of those kind of travel Logitech things. Probably not the most incredible mouse in the world, but it's got an okay click to it. We've got a couple of um, control buttons on the side. It's actually got a few functions, so that should be quite good. So that's set number one, but there's a second box. Let's have a look in that. Now what's really cool about this company is that they do provide a huge number of other accessories for your desk and they have different style stuff, but that's what's really exciting about this really, is that you can have a kind of matching system. Another accessories box, you'll find more wires and stuff in there. Let's have a look in here. We have a little pad, put your arm on. It's pretty light. It's not the most incredible material that, and I actually understand these aren't very good for your health. So, hey, there's a little bit more going on in here. We have a reversible desk mat. I think it's leather. It's pretty nice. It's very long. You see that's, the full width of my fake desk. So uh, a really good size if you have a wider desk. This is the stuff I'm most excited about in this additional pack though. First of all, we have the Poison M. I think this is a speaker and a very nice speaker it is too. There's a couple of pleasing buttons. You've got power, Bluetooth collection, play, pause, plus and minus. You've got here a little volume control, a bass on the back, auxiliary. If you want to plug something into it, you could do that and a little micro USB for powering it. I really love that kind of retro styling that you're getting. And then finally, a power base for chargeable light, which 
is actually really nice. This is like almost $500. Okay, this is clearly not for everyone. It's serious money, although nonetheless very good value, I think, for what you get. I think it's a great example of thinking about how your setup can bring joy to make you more productive. I should also therefore mention that the elements in this set can be purchased separately. They also come with a nice range of styles and vibes for different tastes. It offers Bluetooth connectivity and supports Mac and PC. It is a wireless compatible device for three devices. You can see there's three buttons on there to do that. It's pre-lubed and this one has those blue clicky gator on switches. Nice. It promises 50 days of typing after a five hour charge. It's also cool to see they support all of the Mac function keys, F1 to F12. So overall, it's a thoughtful choice. If not this epic set, you might want to look at some of their keyboard and mouse combinations. What really jumps out in this pack for me though, is the light and the speaker. Really well designed accessories. I'll be using them in my new studio setup for a while, I think. More in a future video, perhaps. Well, let me know where you stand on the world of mechanical keyboards boards. This video is of course by no means comprehensive and I am by no means an expert, but I'm getting into it. Next though, I recommend watching this video for more productive tech to improve your work from home productivity, or this one for the most powerful tools you can use to simplify your day to day and get more things done with less effort. Win-win. It would be awesome if you left a comment, amazing if you subscribed, and I'll see you 